Well, hello, Pearlside family. Uh, my name is Billy, one of the pastors here at Pearlside, and I get to share with you a little devotional. Um, we live in times of great fear and great anxiety, don't we? Well, the Bible says in Romans 10, 17, it says this, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Let me read that again. Faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Um, fear abounds, anxiety abounds, uh, worry abounds. Uh, but what the antidote is to all of that fear and worry is faith. But faith isn't something that we just drum up. Faith isn't something that we just um, will ourselves to have. The Bible's very clear where faith comes from. Faith comes from hearing the Word of God. Faith comes as we get into this book and we read it and we hear it and we study it. And as we do, the Holy Spirit causes faith to arise inside of our hearts. And so if you're here and you're listening to this and you're, you find yourself dealing with worry, listen, every time I check the news and I hear about things that are going on around the world, a little bit of fear and worry comes up in my soul. And I have to replace that fear with the Word of God. And as I do, I find faith coming back to my soul, which enables me to be the person that God is calling me to be in such a time as this. See, fear is dangerous because fear causes us to do things that are inconsistent with what it means to be a Christ follower, right? Because we're afraid, we hoard toilet paper, right? We buy baby wipes when we don't even have a baby. And we do things that we ought not to do because fear is ruling us rather than the Word of God and the faith that comes from it. If you're dealing with fear here this morning, you're a normal, you are a human being. But can I encourage you to replace that fear with faith by diving into the Word. And I, you know, being in ministry now for around 20 years, I've heard so many times people say, I don't have time to read the Bible. I don't have time to pray. I don't have time to go to church. Um, well, we ain't got nothing else but time now. Isn't that true? There's no NBA, there's no, you know, we can't go out. There's no baseball leagues to be, our kids to be playing in. And so all of our excuses of saying, I don't have time are out the window. And the reality is now is the time to grow in faith, to grow in the Word of God, to read it, to study it, to read it with your kids, to read it with your spouse, to listen to messages, to log in to sermons, and to let the faith grow in our hearts so that we can be the church that God is calling us to be. Now is our time to really grow in faith. If you're here and you're dealing with fear, replace that fear with the Word of God and watch as faith grows in your soul. I pray that you'll do it and I pray that you'll grow throughout this season and as we come out of this, because we will, we'll find our faith stronger than it's ever been before. Let's grow together, Pearlside family. God bless you guys.